All right, just a little update. I got the tower up and I got the Easty Breeze hooked up. Uh, just uh, while I can get this thing to focus on the turbine itself. So far, the only thing I don't really like is that uh, that tail is wobbling. I don't know how much of it's gonna show up on the camera, but it's, it's shaking quite a bit. And it's because that material is pretty flimsy, and soft. Uh, which I expected that in the breakdown video. I, I expressed that that was one of the things that I was doubtful about. I expect that uh, that will break and I'll end up having to lay this thing down and put a sheet metal tail on it. But we'll see. We'll run it for as long as it lasts. Uh, one thing right off the bat that I definitely do like is that this turbine is pretty quiet. Most of the Chinese turbines that I have dealt with have been pretty noisy. And in fact, you can hear that sharp swish, swish, whistling sound. That's actually my little 500 and my 700. They have straight blades on them. They make a lot of noise. This one is just a, a very consistent hushing sound. Uh, now the tower itself, it, it seems to be doing what it's supposed to do. I still do it. Ha do have it tied to the shop just in case it decides to tilt away and come down. We'll maybe save it. It might also just rip the bumper off my truck. We'll find out. Or I don't know. Hopefully we won't find out. Uh, I did spend a little bit of time trying to level it today. And it seems to be doing... I mean... It didn't want to move hardly at all while I was doing it, except for that furthest leg away from me. Whenever I tried to get that one moved around, it kind of wanted to pull away from the ground a little bit, but that was the direction that the wind was hitting it. So that makes sense. It wasn't pulling away with an extreme amount of force. Uh, I've been asked a couple of times, I tried to explain this in previous videos, uh, part of this experiment is setting this up with no concrete, no guy wires. Uh, I don't know how to explain why I want to do it that way. I just want to do it that way. The way I've got this set up is there are those are eight foot long T posts. They are sunk at least seven foot in the ground, and they're clamped to those T posts. Right now, I got. Uh, cheap little clamps I do need to do better uh, but I can tell you that those clamps are not going to come away without ripping those t-posts out of the ground now just touching it with uh, with the turbine going there is a little bit of vibration coming through but not much it's actually running pretty smooth Got it wired up with 10 gauge wire. This is not very pretty, it's temporary. Uh, I've got to put my disconnect over there. I try to run them all to a disconnect, either right on the outside of the wall or right on the inside of the wall. And I gotta finish up a little bit inside, but I wanted to get it wired up instead of just leaving it break. May as well be making some power. Now, it hasn't had a lot of wind today. The rating was 1500 watts at 12 and a half meters per second, which is about 26 to 27 miles per hour. Like I said, we've only hit maybe 15, 20 mile an hour gusts for the most part. That's its readout right there. 664 watts peak so far and 15 amps uh, like I said not a whole lot of not a whole lot of uh, wind yet but we definitely get plenty uh, the way I've got it wired up here that's its wires 10 gauge Going all the way over there you can see where it pokes through the wall my disconnect will either be there or right on the outside it's about maybe 70 feet total 
from the turbine to the batteries. The way I've got it wired up is uh, my batteries are set up in a 36 volt bank and we might be changing that back to 24. I don't know yet. We're going to see how it works. 36 volts I know is an unusual voltage but it has worked really well for me. We'll play with it a little bit. Okay, that's it for now.